Hello, this is Shanita, author of How to Have This and That. I am continuing my topic, Self-Sabotage and Non-Empowering Programs, Part 3. What has stopped you from living your extraordinary life? First, you must be willing to admit that you have been self-sabotaging yourself and you have non-empowering programs that may be running your life, or else you would probably have reached your goals and be living your dreams and be the person that you want to be, right or right. A big step towards becoming successful is being open-minded. The average person is convinced that they have life figured out. They know how the world works. Consequently, there's no room for change or that there may be just another way or a better possibility for living their lives. One must be willing to suspend one's belief until all the facts have been presented. And then one must be willing to change and act upon them should they show you a better way, a better possibility. Successful people receive guidance, sometimes from coaches and mentors to assist them with reprogramming their minds for success and playing big in the game of life. The average person lets the fear of the unknown have power over them and they don't bother to seek help thinking it's a sign of weakness. Sometimes we need to, we need help. We need help in reaching another level of consciousness. So be open-minded and stay open to new ideas even if it goes against what you think that you know. There are many things we don't know that we don't know that we don't know. Life is so full of so many possibilities. The only way to know and experience new things is to what? Keep an open mind. Read books that inspire and motivate, like my books on Amazon. What has stopped you from living your extraordinary life? I asked the question again. When we were growing up, we all had dreams, whether it be a specific career, travel the world, invent or create something new, start your own prospering business, climb the tallest mountain, or just lie on the beaches of the world. What happened to them? Did you allow life circumstances to dictate your possibilities and stop you from living your dreams? Or perhaps you have allowed your family, friends, and negative media um, and all your co-workers to hold you back? In order to live our dreams, many of us were led to believe that we would need a substantial amount of wealth. And that is often, unfortunately, one of the major things that stop people from attaining their dreams. I'm here to tell you that you can attain any goal or dream that you have or may have tucked away, regardless of where you are in life financially. Many a days I did not know how I would make it. However, I know with faith and determination, regardless of the lack of money, you can achieve your goals and you can live your dreams. How do you do this? It's not your business to figure it out. It's the business of the universe. Trust, believe, let go, and let God. First, let's see what some of the main reasons why some people give up on their dreams and sometimes even before they even set up to achieving them or even starting um, uh, whatever they want. But don't make, and lots of times you don't make it to the finish line. So this is why it's so important to know your why. Why is it that you want to attain certain things, certain goals, live a certain way? Why? You need to have your why so you don't self-sabotage yourself and you reach the finish line. Ask why do I want this and that. Get clear on your answer and nothing will stop you. Below, I have listed a few of the barriers that stop the flow of abundance and money in our lives. One, old programming. A lot of us have been negatively programmed from birth, usually not intentionally, but we find ourselves believing and saying things like, it's going to be one of those days. 
it's no good nothing ever works out for me i don't have any talent i'm not smart enough i just can't seem to get ahead Noth oh, oh, another day of grind and toil i am always broke and i can't seem to catch up on my bills every time i start something new i never finish it so why bother to start i don't like myself i'm so stupid when will i ever learn it's just no good i just can't seem to get ahead oh and another one is i have to work so hard to make ends meet well you're probably living that too i'm too young i'm too old i don't have um enough time I take two steps forward and three steps back. It always happens to me. Nothing ever works out for me. Everything is a sacrifice and a struggle. No pain, no gain. It's just too hard. I never succeed at anything I do. And that's some of the things we say and the list goes on and on. But telling non-empowering stories Telling the same old non-empowering victim story over and over and over again until you believe it and it becomes your reality is what keeps you stuck in your story of helplessness and victimhood. As the saying goes, be it done unto you as you believe. And because you believe your non-empowering story, it manifests as your reality. And now you have evidence that you're really stuck. You do see how that works, right? All right. It took me a while to figure it out. I was always proving to people how hard life was for me and others, how life was for me and others, not realizing my predominant thoughts were given ev giving evidence to my lifestyle at the time. Believe in hard work, we have been programmed that hard work gets us ahead. This belief that working hard can make you rich is a fallacy. If that were true, there would be many more rich people in the world today. Am I right or am I right? We're often told that hard work gives us a, gets us ahead. You have to suffer, you have to sacrifice. And of course, if you put effort into something, you're going to achieve more than if you put little or no effort into it. But it's all too easy to get sucked into the working long hours, checking tasks off a list without being uh, all that effective or successful. Why not just work smart instead of working hard? Putting in lots of hours, giving up quality time with your family, sacrificing your health, etc. Is that really smart? Look for ways to work smart. That is what the wealthy do. Let me tell you about hard work. I had two jobs in New York. I worked the usual nine to five at a bank, and I worked from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Delta Airlines reservations, four days a week, sometimes five, and every other weekend, and sometimes more. I wanted overtime. That was just 13 hours a day, and I said sometimes it was 16 and 17 hours a day. Did I get rich? No, I was just over broke. J-O-B, over broke. I was tired most of the time from lack of sleep. I just had enough to pay my bills with a little left over for savings and entertainment. I couldn't even take advantage of the ridiculously low fares that we had as paid employees of the airline because I had didn't have the time and certainly didn't have enough money to fly all over the world because although you could fly for nothing, little or nothing, you had to pay for hotel, for food, for ground transportation, entertainment, etc. That all took money. Oh, and I forgot to mention Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam had his hands out for his share as well. I was on a journey of brokenness. No, suddenly working hard and sacrificing is definitely not the answer to creating wealth. If you, if something isn't working for you, don't keep doing it. Look for another way, a better way. Be AAC, awake, aware, and conscious. And yes, you can have this and that. Yes, you can. Isn't it wonderful? This is Shanita, author of How to Have This and That. Thank you for buying my books on Amazon.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel below and click like. And
kindly share my videos with others and invite them to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like. Follow me on Facebook, Shanita V. Cummings Lewis, and my fan page, Health, Wealth, and Time Freedom. Oh, and Instagram and Twitter, Health, Wealth, and Time Freedom. Thank you for being part of my world of light, love, and energy, peace, and joy, and prosperity where all things are possible. Thank you.